Alicia. Today we're going to be learning six vocabulary words and their pronunciations. So let's get started. With the first word, which is ordinary. An ostrich is not the ordinary bird. It runs quickly but cannot fly. Hmm. So, do you know what ordinary means? It means not special or something different. Just normal, okay? And the second word, and let's move to the second word, which is control. Second word, which is control. This rider uses reins to stay in control of the camel. So, right now, just imagine if the camel is not in control of the uh, rider. Then the camel, camel will do anything it wants. Oh, I need to stay. Oh, no, I want to sleep. I don't want to walk. I want to run. So, like, whatever it wants to do. But, and then the rider will be in trouble, like... Oh, uh, it, it might bump somewhere. If the camel jumps, it might fall down. The cam the uh, rider might fall down, so it might be a little uh, dangerous. So control, making someone in con saying, making something or someone in control is so important. And so the second example is um, like so the students are in control of the teacher, right? So what if the students are not in control of the teacher? It's so crazy, like the students will go there, there, there. So if the teacher says quiet, noise, like break everything, the windows, the chairs, and the tables, or just cross out their whole work or something, or just, rip their homework pages and put it into the trash because they don't want to do work. <laughs> and I want to explain another word, which is reins. Do you know what it means? Hmm, it means like, yeah. So this rider uses like, um, on this horse, there are something like this rope, right? It's called reins. So why do we even use reins? Do you know? Because, um, well, um, yeah, so they can keep control of the animals which they're riding. Okay? Okay. Um, so now let's do the exercise. Think uh, so. Um, which of these items? Um, which of these items? These items. Um, like which of these items can you? So you put these items. So. Can you control it? So then put it here. Can you? You? I cannot control it. Then put it in the box which it's written things you cannot control like that. Okay. Mm. So let's see. And now we have to do it according to the numbers. So a dog leash. Things like can I control a dog leash? Yes. So one dog leash. So yes, I can control the dog leash. Two, weather. Oh no, no, I cannot control the weather. Only God can. So let's put two here. Things you can't control. <laughs> Three, a school bus. I cannot control a school bus because it's on the driver's hand. So let's put three things I cannot control. And lastly, four, I can control a computer. I'm already doing it. I'm making a video. <laughs> so yes, things I can control, yep. Yep, four. There. But 
By the way, do you know what leash means? Well, a leash is something that you use, like when you when you want to take a walk, you you make the do, you put on a leash for the dog or cat, and then you can walk. Kind of making thing making the dog in control, so he will walk with you and get exercised. Huh. Whoa. So now let's move to the next word, which is cage. If you own an iguana, okay, so wait. Next word, the third word. If you own an iguana, you can let it out of its cage. Okay. So, do you know what cage means? It's kind of a thing or a box made out of strings, wood, or sometimes metal to keep kind of a box to keep things um, such only animals or birds inside, like a trap or something. Kind of a crate, but not exactly. We can see the animals. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's move to the next word, which is upset. This animal is upset because it sees danger. So do you know what upset means? It means like worried or unhappy about something. Hmm, if you don't really understand, I have exercise. So, again, we do the same thing as, we do the same thing as here. Same thing as here, okay? Probably doesn't, so probably, probably it will upset you or probably it will not upset you, okay? So, losing something important. It will make you worried, right? And when someone is upset, he or she is worried or unhappy. If we lose something important, we will be worried, right? So, yeah. One. One. So. Wait. Oh, wait a second. My writing is not good. One. Okay, one. And forgetting something you need. Let's see. Oh, such as a bag. You forget your bag. At, for example, yeah, so dangerous. Like it's the last day of school, and you <laughs> and you are getting out of your school bus. Okay, and your bag was still in your uh, school school bus and then you just came out and then you you kept your bag inside the school bus oh no and then you never ever found your bag ever again wow no that's so sad so yeah, yeah let's put two here hmm. listening to a funny story well that's Probably not making me upset. Ooh, let's write three here. It doesn't make me upset at all. Three winning a four. Giving, winning a game. Surely it doesn't make me upset. Losing a game makes me upset. Hmm. Yeah. So winning a game. Let's write five. Here. No, four. Getting a pet will also not make me upset. Ah, so five, let's write here. And lastly, being very late. Just imagine you're going to school, okay? And you came at lunch time. Everybody was eating lunch. I mean, you came at going time. Everybody was preparing their bag. And you just came the 
full day. You had to eat lunch. The school was closed and you had to be there. It's too late. Oh my God, it'll probably make me unhappy. And I had to go home tomorrow. And I had to go home tomorrow. Oh no. Let's write this here. There. Huh. Let's move to the next one. Do, 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 do. Is confused. Jack was confused. Uh, uh, so guys, um, Jack is just a name, okay? Jack was confused. He had never seen an animal, animal like this before. So here the new word is confused. The new word is confused. Do you know what it means? Um, it means like, um, yeah, don't, we don't, so confused means like you don't understand what's happening, what to do, or yeah, like that, something like that. Mm. So if you understand, let's go to the last word, which is sensible. Sensible. So, hmm, these sensible hippos are smart enough to roll into cold mud on a hot day. So, do you know what sensible means? It means something. It's a word that, it's a word, another word to say set, uh, like sense, okay? Like making sense or something else. So, why are these hippos, but do you even understand why these hippos are sensible? Like, because in a hot day, they understand to go into a cold one. They understand to go uh, into a cold mud, right? So that's good. <coughs> right now, I have two exercises. First one this, second one this. Think about it is first and talk it over soon. So, let's see. Think about it. What are sensible clothes, clothes to wear for each different season? On winter, you should wear a thick and long sleeve with um, long sleeves, um, uh, you know, uh, clothes, which is made out of wool. So, you know, you stay nice and warm yeah and in summer well yeah you can wear short sleeves or sleeves look so short like this it's summer right now that's why i'm wearing this kind of thing you can wear something like this in summer right and in fall something like winter like because it's a little cold and in the spring, uh, something like summer, like that, okay? Just see, just see, hmm, and talk it over. Let's see. What would be sensible? What would, um, uh, okay. What would, okay, so what we have to do here is, so if you cut your hand, what you should do? That makes sense. If it's raining, what you should do, so it makes sense, and so on. I like that, okay? So let's see. If you cut your hand, oh, like by mistake with scissors, then first put a band-aid or a kind of a kit, and then run to the doctor. And if it's raining, um, you should... Of course, and you, you want to take a walk? It's so easy. Wait, umbrella. Dee, 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 dee. This is umbrella and walk along. So easy. As always. And if you have a cold, you should go to the doctor. And if it's vacation, then if your mom is a doctor, I mean, if your mom is a doctor, you could you would not have to go so long and then reach the hospital if your mom is a doctor she'll make medicine at home and everything or or you could go to the doctor 
Yeah, two options. Yeah. So friends, if you like my videos, then please subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. See you soon.